All right, you just finished uh, Titanic in Sydney. So firstly, how was the experience? And secondly, how did you feel when it, when it was pulled prematurely? Well, I was devastated when it was pulled because I just love doing the show. Like every night I would sit in the wings and I was like, I can't believe I'm actually here and I can't believe I'm at the Theatre Royal singing these songs and wearing these costumes and working with the most amazing cast. I think that musical theatre has ever seen in Australia. And when my agent called me, um, I think it was on Thursday, the Thursday afternoon, saying, well, there's good news and there's bad news. The bad news is um, Titanic has been cancelled, the whole tour. And the good news is that you have another job. Which, you know, was, I was the luckiest girl in the world on that day, but it was just devastating to um, see that show go. And that other job is, is respect. Tell us a little bit yes. about that. Um, it's, it's, uh, there's four people in it. And it's from the same producers of Men Pools. And it's basically, it's been on in America for about 10 years, and it's been rewritten here in Australia. And, <laughs> and respect to Will Tour, I was going to ask you, how do you adjust to life on the road? It's obviously a, an interesting thing to have to do, something that's required with the job, but, but how, how do you adjust? It's, at, for, uh, like the last couple of days before I leave, I always get really quite scared because I always miss my family and my friends and my cat. Um, but once I'm on tour, it's wonderful. It's, and you know, I was on tour for about three and a half years with Mamma Mia. And I started taking it for granted living in these beautiful hotels and these apartments. So I think this time around on tour, I think I'll really enjoy it and make sure that I make the most of it. Last year you did um, the third cabaret show, Everything in Show Business is, is 20 minutes too long. Third show, Act 23, obviously, um, got started doing cabaret young. What, what got you first involved in, in that realm of it all? Well, I went and saw my first cabaret at uh, Cafe 9, which is not around anymore, which is a, a cabaret venue in Market Street. And I saw Peter Cousins and Geraldine Turner do their shows there. And um, I was a nice to be a backing vocalist in it late night cabaret show called Late Night Wired um, and I was inspired by, um, by all that and I thought well I'm, I'm going to try and do it and it wasn't very good but um, it was frightening but now I'm better at it and <laughs> it's, I, I love the art form. Talking of inspiration, what performers inspired you growing up? Carolina Connor was my, probably my biggest inspiration in this country. I mean, I'd go and see her and everything, and I'd just be in awe of everything she did. And I'd, I'd have all her soundtrack, all her CDs, and I'd sit there and try and imitate her and try and sound exactly like her. Um, and Bernadette Peters, obviously, I mean, I had all the Broadway DVDs, and I'd watch people like Bernadette Peters and Judy Garland, of course. But, um, yeah. Um. I'm going to ask you about rejection as well. I mean, you talk about being an actor in Australia, it's not always uh, so, so easy. A lot of auditions that don't work out. How, how do you deal with rejection? I don't deal with it very well. <laughs> um, I, well, I mean, I get, you'd think you'd get better at it, and you do, but it always hits you really hard. And it always takes a couple of phone calls to your best friends to try and make you realise that there's another show around the corner and that you're really not that bad. And it's not about you, it's about the work, and so I take it personally. But it's always hard, and it never is easy to accept you work so hard for a job and then, you never, and then you don't get it, it's quite heartbreaking and I don't care who you are, so they'll probably say, oh yeah, I'm used to it now, but the truth is you never get used to it. It's quite hard, it's hard, it's heartbreaking. Apart from respect next year, what can we expect from, from Belinda Wallace? Um, I'll definitely do uh, another show. I may keep with the show that I've got and just add to it or take some stuff away. Um, I, um, I have a I'm working on a pilot for a children's TV show that I can't really talk about much of, but it's um, something exciting and we'll see what happens with that, but yeah. Excellent, alright, well thank you for joining us. Thank you.